Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Night Gossip with your host. You guys know me, I'm Dan, you know that. You've been tuned in forever. We thank you so much for supporting the North Mile Shop, the North Mile Shop Facebook group, the Instagram accounts, the whole nine yards, and all of our associates. So, guys, let's dive into the news this week. Not a whole lot, but we'll, we'll make do with what we got. All right, really cool. I was really excited to see this. This comes from the Ammo of Mig site, and the gentleman's name is Babark Charlarlagi. Uh, I'm trying. It's Iranian. He hosted the first ever Iranian modeling community. It looked like they took part in like a community center. There was quite a few people, probably 10, 15 guys, and he sat there with a bench. Looks like a video camera kind of projecting on the screen, and he was building a tank. It was really cool, and it looks like it's going to progress into a bit of a modeling club. There was quite a bit of interest, so really excited for that to see. You know, to see those kind of things. That is really, really cool. Um... Our friend Ken over at Show Rod Garage is looking for, I guess I don't have it up here, I took it upstairs, is the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Bottles. He really likes the plastic struck weld, but doesn't like the big bulky brush that comes in it. So, he doesn't use a lot of Tamiya Extra Thin, he prefers the other one, so he's looking for the Tamiya Extra Thin Bottle with cap and top quality brush. Not with the brushes all going all crazy like the old goat wants the good clean brush. So you guys, if you have a bottle with good brush cap empty, and uh, you're willing to give it off, get a whole can, go over to Showrod Garage, hit him up with an instant message. He will hook you guys up, kind of do a trade or do whatever they want to do. He's looking for a couple of these bottles. So get over and check him out. Give him a hand. Really cool. Our buddy over at Dragon Speed Shop has an official sponsor, and that is Scale Finishes. Um, Really cool, really excited to see that guy. I think he works really close with the gentleman over there. He's using all the products. What's really cool, guys, if you check out his video, he gives out his promo code. I'm not going to tell you that code. You got to go watch the video and get that code for yourself. Get you 10% off the purchase. Pretty cool. That's that's pretty sweet there. Uh, the Styrene Syndicate slash Red Dragon Model Works, our buddy Gil, has posted his monthly review as he does on the YouTube channel. Kind of going over the projects and what's in the works and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's great information, great chat. It's real fun to watch, Gil. I find him very entertaining, very knowledgeable, and just an all-around great guy for the community. So, guys, if you can get out there, check those videos out. They're worth they're a little worth a little watch as well. Casual scale modeler and Paul Turley have done a really cool review of the Chrome markers. Now, I know there's a few people, Sussex replicas in particular, that is absolutely sick of these damn pens. Every other post. Is about these pens. So I've heard mixed reviews. Good, bad. I think, my personal opinion, I don't have one, so I shouldn't really shut my pie hole. My personal opinion seems a little expensive for the pin, but if the refills come in and they're pretty cheap, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And then, mind you, if you can touch up a piece of chrome with a pen and it's gonna cost you 10 bucks and it lasts you quite a long time, probably not a bad investment. I understand that our buddy Scott over at ElmCityHobbies.com will, it's going to make his very most attempted effort as he possibly can, if that makes any sense, to have those markers available at the Fragerton Model Show cams this coming May. If he's got them and we've got the money, we'll probably pick up one as a test and as to give it a shot. Never know. But guys, check these reviews out. They're mixed, but uh, it helps you make an informed decision if you're like myself on the fence. And uh, Rat Rod Matt, we all know Rat Rod Matt. He uh, very, uh, I guess, uh, what do you want to say? Congratulations, I guess, be in order. He welcomed in his first grandchild into the world there this week. And he was so excited. He celebrated by starting a 1930 Ford model roadster. So that is pretty cool. He's all excited. I guess he's been building up a storm chop and cut and paint and prime and rust and the whole nine yards for him. So that's super excited to see. All right, guys. And that there is the news this week as we've seen it from Sunday Night Gossip. All right, guys. There's a couple shows coming up in the next two weeks that I think are worth a check out. They're really cool. The first one is the seventh annual Buckeye Classic. It's going March 18th at the Franklin County Fairgrounds from 9 to 3.30. Guys, it looks pretty sweet. A lot of stuff going on. Vendors, 50-50, raffles. And you get to meet the internet sensation. Rat Rod Matt will be there with some of his builds competing. So guys, check that one out. 
Also, Replicon 28 going March 25th in Long Island, New York. This is going to be hosted by the Long Island Scale Model Society. Guys, looks like two really killer shows that you need to go check out. If you're in the area, give them support. And guys, here's a big thing that we really stress. If you're away out of the ways and you can't make it this year, at least check out their sites and look them up and check out some of the reviews on them because you may want to consider going in the next year, plan your vacations, your travels, whatever around it. I know we do this as well. So guys, two shows, the Buckeye Classic and Replicon. Check them out in the next coming weeks. Hey guys, I hope you're checking out scaledworld.net. It's a really cool website based solely around scale modeling. It's really cool and guys, it's all non-profit. It's just to promote the hobby and promote people like yourselves who are building really cool killer models. Just give you that kind of exposure, get the names and the words out there. So guys, pop over to scaledworld.net Submit some of your photos of some of your finished builds. If you guys like doing kit reviews, build magazine style articles, stuff like that, whatever you have, you want to try to cut your chops with something like this, get over. There's a form, there's a web or an email you submit to. Pete checks them out and picks some of the best ones to do features on, which is really cool because he wants to give love and everything to everybody. So if you got a really cool build, like we said, an article, kit review, whatever, model show you went to. You got pictures, reviews of it. He gives full credit to you, full credit to all the photographers, everything. It's really cool. It's scaledworld.net. Guys, check it out right after this video. Hey guys, by now you've probably heard our good friend Chris Cartel is uh, battling cancer for the third time. So guys, in support of that, uh, Mindless Model Works and Papa Dan's Models are going to be putting together a Classic Plastic 101 Tribute Group build. Guys, get over and check out Mindless Model Works or Papa Dan's channel for all the details. Guys, I'm starting to see a lot of these group build intro videos coming down the, tube, coming down the tube, and uh, it looks really, really great. So guys, get over there if you can and show your support. The, uh, this is very important to, uh, to give him some love. I guess he's down in the dumps over this and uh, he loves modeling and that is his life. So show some support, get out there guys, and let's do a group build for our buddy Chris. Alright guys, it's come to the portion of the show where we announce the banner pick winner for the North Sea Model Shop group page over on Facebook. And this week, the winner is 
Adrian Lewis with his salt brat racer guy. Guys, this car is sweet. I've been following it since the drop of the hat of their group build. He's been going on, doing his pictures, doing his progress. Guy is super passionate about this build and it shows the love was put into this one the time was put in and it looks killer guys you can see from the picture it looks like he's made a few dozen salt flat passes with it before he was ready to show it it's got a little bit of salt wear onto her and just cool i don't know if he sat set any records with this thing but it is cool Guys, kind of almost like a roadkill kind of thing going on, but not quite. It's his own little Australian take on it. So congratulations, Adrian, on this beautiful build. It's going to look super cool on top of the Northview Model Shop group page over on Facebook. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the show for another Sunday night gossip. Guys, the week's... Are getting closer into the model shows we're under a month to the first one we go to at Shearwater and I think we've pretty well got everything we want ready for that one already there and then it's a very short run to cans which is the biggest one of the year for us and uh, we need to get our ass in gear we got a couple bills we need to make moved so I am going to try my best to keep the videos rolling but like the last this weekend instead of working on videos for uh, our content for videos we really were just plugging away on the on the clean custom build which kind of put a lot of uh, effort into that and we you know we've got the bf109 here that needs to go so there's a lot of work going in the shop as you see the bench is destroyed kind of playing we're having fun but uh guys we'll keep trying to keep the uh, videos coming for you uh wednesday night we uh i don't think this it won't happen this wednesday because i got a meeting that i have to attend so we might run tuesday night or thursday night this week for the uh the live feed with drew the unapologetic modeler make sure you're checking out drew he's doing a uh, uh blog on his ventor build so check that out guys don't forget check our brother brandon out at sussex replicas he's getting his stuff going again so check him out all, all in all guys just have a blast the hobby's growing it's great they're having fun just guys, get out there, build a model, keep the drama off the side, and just have fun. Check out all the Hangouts as well. And don't forget to check out ScaledWorld.net because, guys, we get to sit on the front of that page with uh, the Sunday Night Gossip stuff every week. Really great guys over there. So, all right. Thanks a million for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you next week. Adios.